All right, hello everybody and welcome to this session where we'll be going through the question of the week. Now this is going to be a really amazing question so feel free to pause the video and uh, try to solve the question on your own. All right, so I hope you have read the question really well. Uh, some of you may even have got the answer. Well done if you have. Now let's go ahead and check out the solution for this problem. All right, so what do we have here? The correct answer, by the way, is going to be option A, $9. Now let's check out how do we get $9. So what do we have here? A, B and C have gone on a camping trip. A had seven cookies. Let me just write that down here. So A has seven cookies and B here has five cookies and C does not have any cookies, but C has $12. Okay, so C is going to have $12. Now they all agree to share the 12 cookies equally among each other. All right, so first thing, we're going to take it step by step. All the 12 cookies are going to be divided among A, B and C. So how many people uh, are we dividing the 12 cookies into? We're dividing it among three people, right? So 12, when you divide by three, you get how much? Four. So all of these A, B and C, after the division, they're going to have four cookies each, right? A will get four, B will get four and C will get four. All right. And since C did not have any cookies, he's going to pay $12 for his share from the cookies. And it makes sense, right? Whoever has given C more number of cookies, they're going to get more money. Yeah, cool. So all cookies were the same size. And then B suggested he should get five and A should get seven. But A said he should get more than seven. So we're trying to figure out how much did A get. All right. Now, A initially had how many cookies? Seven. And B had five. Okay. Now... After the distribution, from 7, A only has 4 cookies left, which means the 4 cookies that C has, 3 cookies were given by A and the remaining 1 cookie was given by B, right? This was a fairly simple thing. Now, it makes sense, right? Whoever has given more number of cookies is going to get more share of the dollars. So, the $12 will be divided among A and B in the ratio 3 is to 1. That's it. So now A is going to get how much? The ratio is 3 is to 1, right? So total parts are how many? 4 parts. So out of 4 parts, 3 parts A will get off what? Off the $12. And this is going to be what? 4 times 3. And actually, as you've seen here, A is going to get $9 and the remaining $3 are going to be given to B. I'm sure you had fun solving this question. Uh, stay tuned for the next questions in the series. Thank you.